The T-slot stud is another option we give you for joining plates, uh, inside corner brackets, and gussets. I'd like to show you that now. There are three main components to a T-slot stud, regardless of which version you choose. You have the stud itself, you have a washer, and a hex nut. Yeah, there are two types of T-slot studs. The economy slide-in T-slot stud must be loaded from the end of the bar, has a square collar that prevents it from rotating once it's in the slot. The drop-in stud simply drops in the side, rotates 90 degrees. Once those are lined up, you can lay your joining plate on top. The hex nuts go on next. You can see I've already got the washers in place. Once your frame is together, you simply tighten it up with a box end wrench. A couple things you'll notice. First of all, aesthetically, this is a larger, uh, beefier look. Um, it is the strongest option to use with joining plates uh, for fasteners. And uh, you'll also need to notice that on the drop-in stud, there's a mark on the end of the stud that tells you whether or not you've rotated at the full 90 degrees and that the stud itself, the head, is perpendicular to the T-slot. That tells you that it's fully engaged. So you can look for that line on the end of the stud when you tighten that up to make sure that it's fully engaged. And that's the T-slot stud.